Hey everybody, what's up, and welcome to another Sims 4 house building video. In today's video, I am building a little abandoned rundown shack type of thing. I don't really know. I don't, I haven't decided what I'm going to call this video. I don't know what this build is. To be honest, I just opened the Sims and started building and thought, I'm going to post this. I don't know why. There's no reason for this. It's not for like a, any particular series that i'm doing on my channel it's not based on a movie or a tv show it's not for new crest it's not like building the worlds or anything i just felt like building and this is what i came up with i've been really enjoying just opening the sims and building recently which sounds really stupid because that's all i do on this channel all i do is build houses but typically what i do or what i have done in the past is build things from tv shows and movies and i've been feeling kind of burnt out from that and i think it's because recently i've done a lot of very very big builds based on tv shows and movies and i think i just needed a break from it so my last few videos have just been random things that i've decided to build i built some apartments for the new love struck pack i built a little irish house because i was feeling homesick and now i'm building this because i wanted to and i felt like it and <laughs> i don't know i've really been enjoying building things that are a little bit more run down a little bit more shabby so that's what this is it's kind of just a little i'm thinking kind of an abandoned house maybe it hasn't been abandoned very long because there's kind of a car outside and some objects inside that probably wouldn't be in a very abandoned house and it's not really really run down there's just some broken stuff like the fences at the front and a lot of like overgrown grass and things like that but i really just had a lot of fun with this i again don't know why i built it i just simply wanted to so i did and it was just fun. I've been, uh, it sounds stupid again, but I've just been enjoying building in The Sims recently, which sounds ridiculous because that's all I do on this channel. All I do is build houses, but I've just been feeling much less pressure around it, which sounds silly, but sometimes I think I put a lot of pressure on myself to build certain builds or I have like a certain amount of videos come out or whatever, and then I get burnt out and then I don't feel like building anything. So I've just been really enjoying building anything and everything that I want and that won't be what's happening from now on like this isn't a new thing I'm doing on my channel I'm definitely going to be uploading some more houses from tv shows and movies I'm working on a couple at the moment they will go up when they go up I don't know when I'll be finished them but I'm excited for a couple of bills that are coming out very very soon um one of my next ones I again don't know which one is next so one of my next ones is going to be the house from Beetlejuice and I'm very excited about that and I have a couple of plans for like October time I kind of want to do a little bit of a series throughout October of building different houses from horror movies so that's also in the works I'm very prepared it is currently August and I'm already planning for October so that's fun I'm feeling very prepared I'm feeling inspired and I'm excited to build in The Sims again I've taken another little break a shorter one this time it's only been a couple of weeks but i'm i'm excited to be back it mightn't have been much of a break for you guys you might not have noticed that i went anywhere but to me i took a break but i've just been enjoying the sims again recently i think every sims player goes through this like certain waves of wanting to play the game and then never wanted to see the game again because you play it too much and you get burnt out from it burnt out is definitely the wrong phrase to use there like i feel like it's a bit ridiculous to say that i'm getting burnt out from a video game there are much more stressful things going on in the world and in my life and everything. But maybe that's why I've been enjoying The Sims recently. It's escapism. I'm losing my mind. But anyway, this build, I'm going to talk about this because I'm four minutes in now and I've barely talked about it. So this is basically just a one bedroom, one bathroom house. And I kind of just came up with this idea after starting to build the house from Beetlejuice. I was kind of using some of the more rundown decorative things like the i think most of them came with the for rent pack kind of the mold detail and i know there's some scratches and some other packs like the vampires pack and things like that actually i'm just going to mention that there when i was building the irish house that i built recently i spent so long looking for a tractor in the debug menu whatever that's called i found one while building this that is the most frustrating thing i've ever experienced anyway you might have just seen it on screen there if you didn't ignore me but i basically while i was building the beetlejuice house i was like using all of these grungy kind of items and i was like i could so easily build 
a little rundown shack. So I did. And I just had a lot of fun with this. It's just, it's very fun to just sit down and see what you can do new in The Sims because I build a lot of like more modern stuff. I have built a lot of things based on movies, whatever. It's nice to move away from that and just kind of do a stress-free build where I just make it up as I go along. I had no plan going into this other than I wanted to have a pickup truck with a trailer with a boat on it. Actually, I didn't even think of the boat. I just wanted a pickup truck with a trailer and then I found the boat and I was like, cute. And that was kind of what I ran with. Also, while I was building this, it made me think of a series that Little Simsy used to do. Actually, I don't know if she's done it in quite a while, so this might age me a bit. But she used to do this series where she would get bills off the gallery that were kind of like this, more run down, full of clutter, full of nonsense. And she would basically renovate them. And I think she called the series like Fixer Upper. And I think it was kind of based on a TV show in America. I don't know if that's a TV show over here, but as far as I know, it's an American TV show. And it would be basically renovating run down houses. And I used to love that series when she did it. I hope she brings it back. But that was kind of running through my brain while I was working on this. And I was kind of thinking maybe I will do a version of that. Full credit to Lil Simsy. This is not my idea, obviously. I just explained that it was hers. I don't even know if it was her idea, actually. She might have gotten it from somewhere else. But I used to love that series when she did it. And I might do that in one of my upcoming videos. I might just take this very house and just renovate it to be a bit more clean bit more updated, a bit more modern, contemporary, whatever you want to call it. And I think it would be a bit of fun. Just a bit of a fixer-upper kind of play off of her inspiration, like Little Simsy's videos, and just see what I come up with. I don't know, it just kind of popped into my head while I was building this, and it kind of made me realize that she hasn't done that in a while. I used to love that series. If you don't know Little Simsy, I don't know how you found this video if you don't know who she is, because she basically does similar thing to what I do just like building stuff and gameplay in the sims and stuff but she's probably the biggest creator in this little niche on youtube and twitch and everything she does a lot of stuff but if you haven't checked her out do definitely I don't know why I'm shouting her out but <laughs> you should check her out she's she's great um I don't know I'm rambling in this one I'm not pressing pause while I'm recording this I'm just gonna ramble and see where I end up but I haven't done a voiceover in a little while. It's probably been like two or three weeks since I've done one. So I'm feeling a little out of practice. I'm also definitely coming down with something and I'm slightly hopped up on some pain medication. Um, pain medication, that sounds serious. It's paracetamol and ibuprofen, but yeah. Anyway, if you couldn't tell, I'm a bit delirious, but yeah. I don't know, I had fun with this one. If you guys like this video, let me know, leave a comment with your thoughts, all that stuff. Um, I'm always looking for like new, fun ways of like reinventing the wheel a little bit because I think I do a lot of the same type of content on my channel, which is fine. The content that I do, I really do enjoy, but I do want to diversify a little bit. I have a couple of ideas that I wanna try out, but I don't know how they're gonna go. I don't know if I can do them. I have a couple of things like different challenge videos that I wanna try. And I recently got access to The Sims 3 through one of my friends and I might build something in that. I don't know though, because I opened it up the other day and I very quickly remembered why I stopped playing The Sims 3 because it is not an easy game to play. It is very, very laggy, very glitchy. Um, so we'll see, There, there's no promise there, but maybe. If you guys have any ideas for any videos that you want to see from me, like if there's any particular type of build you want to see, if there's a movie you want to see me attempt to adapt, or a house from a movie you want to see me adapt into The Sims, let me know. Always looking for new ideas. I know that I have gotten quite a few comments recently that I haven't gotten around to checking yet. I always get the notification on my phone and I'm like, I'm going to check that when I get home. And it's always when I'm on the tube that I see the notification and then I lose service. So then I'm like, I'll get it when I get home. But my brain doesn't work that way. Complete screen wipe the second I get off the tube. I forget everything that I was meant to do. So I haven't gotten around to checking those messages, messages, those comments yet, um, but I will. And if there's any ideas in those, stay tuned. Maybe I'll build them. If you have any ideas, let me know. Maybe I'll build your idea. I, I always want inspiration. I'm just always looking for something new, but yeah. If you guys have any ideas, let me know, leave a comment. 
Um, if you like this video, this is a bit of a shorter one, so I'm kind of wrapping up here. But if you like this video, please do remember to leave a like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Share it with a friend. Let me know your thoughts. If you love the video, if you hated it, I don't care. It's all good engagement for me. But <laughs> um, please don't leave me hate comments. That's really mean. But I actually, this is kind of funny. I got my first hate comment recently. That sounds really silly, but I only have like a thousand subscribers. So for me to get a hate comment, I was like, I've made it. Like, <laughs> I think a lot of people would be kind of upset by getting an insulting comment under one of their videos, but I was really excited by it. It was basically just someone critiquing one of my builds, but it was really mean and non-constructive. And I was like, this is kind of funny. Like, I kind of just loved it. So if you have anything mean to say, maybe say it and it might give me a bit of an ego boost. <laughs> I don't know, that's really weird, but I got weirdly excited about it. I screenshotted it and sent it to my friend and I was like, look, I have a hater. <laughs> it was kind of funny. They always just make me laugh. I'll never understand people that leave negative comments. I've never watched a video and been so annoyed to the point that I need to leave a comment. If I don't like a video, I turn it off. If you don't like this video, turn it off. There's no need to comment, but if you do and you don't like me, I'm probably gonna screenshot whatever you say and send it to my friend, so, you know do with that what you will. Anyway, I think I've rambled enough. This is kind of wrapping up. As you can see, I'm just kind of cluttering up the bedroom. This is the last room inside. Um, I kind of just threw a bit of stuff everywhere. There's kind of boxes all over the place. Bit of clutter up on the dresser. The living room is a mess. I went nuts with all of these like grungy things on the walls. And I just had a lot of fun with this one. It's a lot of fun messing around with those kind of grungy items. But anyway, I've tried to wrap this up like twice now and it hasn't worked. So here I go again. If you like this video, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, share with a friend, and hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Have an amazing day wherever you're watching this from. Let me know where you're watching this from. I love hearing where you guys are in the world, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.